In this tutorial, I show you the best free and all-round PDF program for architects. This is a great alternative to paid packages such as Bluebeam. Hi, my name is Serge and welcome to PowerSurge, where I show you everything that I know about Revit. One of the best features of Bluebeam is the tool chest feature, which enables an operator to save a library of symbols similar to an AutoCAD block library. This facilitates quick red line drawings or markups, such as the one displayed on screen now. These symbols can be exported using Bluebeam's native .btx file extension. The issue here for those without Bluebeam is that these design symbols cannot be imported into most other PDF programs. However, using PDF Exchange Editor, there is a similar alternative. Using this PDF reference, I will zoom into the legend on the right and create one of these electrical elements as a symbol. On the Comments tab, PDF Exchange contains very similar markup tools to Bluebeam. On the Drawing panel, I start by selecting the Line tool. On the right hand side is the properties where I can change the line color and thickness. I can also save these settings for future use by using the right click menu. Keep an eye on the ribbon at the top end of the screen. As I click, Make Current Properties Default. Furthermore, on the Comments panel, I can open the comment styles. In this control center, I can preset or change any of the line type graphics or fills. PDF Exchange also enables snapping, which allows the operator to snap to native PDF lines. As I zoom in here, you can slightly make out the red snaps. Back on the Styles palette, I can select the polygon line and set the colors and line thickness before drawing. Then using the snap function, I can trace the native PDF lines. At the end of the polygon, right click and choose complete to close or end the polygon line. Finally, I would like to tag the symbol. This can be done from the text panel using the text box tool. Using the grips to resize the text box, Highlight the text and from the text properties set the justification and font size. Now, I need to save these elements as a symbol. Start by selecting all elements using the control button to add new elements. With all elements selected, on the draw in panel, find stamp. Expand the stamp palette and then move up to add new. From 
From here, click on New Stamp from Selection. Here you can see the Stamp Preview. Down the bottom, there are two fields that require attention. Add a new collection header such as Electrical and then give the stamp symbol a specific name. And here is a stamp symbol ready to be used on red line drawings or markups just as in Bluebeam. Let me now put this newly created symbol to the test. I will open a reference electrical sheet. PDF Exchange has all the typical zoom tools which I can use to focus in on this area. First, locate the stamp tool. Select the symbol and click to place. Use the rotation properties parameter to rotate the symbol into the required orientation. From there, on the View tab and then on the Page Display panel, turn on the Grid function. Together with the Snap function and the yellow grips, I can now scale the symbol to the correct size and then move it into position as required. If that wasn't cool enough already, there's more. Here, I have opened up the original PDF from this tutorial, which I point out was made using Bluebeam symbols. These native Bluebeam symbols are selectable in PDF Exchange and that means I can add them to my stamps collection for use on other projects. This is great because I can now open a blank PDF and create my own sample file library of symbols for quick, efficient markups for free. And these can be shared within a team. On the more complicated symbols, you will need to piece these together. Granted, this takes a little more time, but so would drawing the symbols from scratch. I can then repeat the workflow of selecting all elements and creating the stamp symbol. Now, let's put this new library of symbols to the test. Follow along as I demonstrate the efficiency of this workflow in this great free program. And just like that, I have generated a clear and concise markup in no time at all. This is just as efficient as Bluebeam. Another wonderful Bluebeam feature is the Snapshot tool. 
Well, guess what? PDF Exchange can do something similar. Watch as I remove these checkouts here and replace them with two more of these. I can change the opacity so that the change is obvious to my collaborators. And now for 3D elements. If you are using something like Revit, you can export a 3D PDF and open it in PDF Exchange. That in and of itself is not that extraordinary, but it is useful. But watch as I expand the 3D model tree tool. These are Revit categories used in the Revit model. I can now toggle these on and off to interrogate the Revit model from a PDF. That's incredible functionality for a free platform. Use this to isolate elements and share layouts with clients and consultants. All in all, PDF Exchange is incredible value. It's free. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content and I will see you in the next video.